In today's video, I'm going to be testing out a makeup primer that it's supposed to blur out my acne scars. So if you're interested, stay tuned. I'm going out tonight and I thought it might be a perfect time or the worst time to try out a new makeup product. Um, I don't know how this is gonna go, but we're talking about none other than Sealed. It is a new product that Topicals came out with. It is a active scar primer. It is supposed to help blur out acne scars and now y'all know, I have a lot of acne scars um, based from my past, just picking at acne that you shouldn't be doing, but I did, I didn't know any better, and now I have a lot of acne scars. Um, I'm gonna show you guys like a video that I captured so y'all can get a before look. I tried to do it in the shadows because that's where you can really tell my acne scars. And once I do my makeup and I apply the primer and everything is done, I will record myself again. It has peptides, retinol, it is a medical grade silicone, and it has papain. Papain? It's gonna fill in the acne scars. Well, I have a lot, so I don't know how much it can actually fill in. It will smooth, resurface, and prime. And then it says that with daily use, scar depth will be reduced. In the instructions, it says pretty clear how to use. You dab a small amount into the pitted scar or enlarge pore. Let the product set for 30 seconds, then follow up with sunscreen, moisturizer, and makeup. Pretty simple. Some ingredients that I see here, it has onion bulb extract, salicylic acid, glycerin, has water, sorbic acid, silicone makeup primers I'm never really a fan of. I, that texture is just not for me. I've tried the Benefit Pore Perfection Primer. That one I think is silicone based and oh, I just don't like the texture. I don't like the feeling on my face. But we'll see how I feel with this one. This is the bottle. You get one fluid ounce. First things first, I will make sure that my face is nice and clean before applying any makeup. My skin is nice and washed and just to make sure it is super cleansed, I am going to be taking the Tower 28 Mist Dupe. This is the Skin Smart Facial Cleanser. It's like an antimicrobial. It's to help cleanse away any bacteria that causes acne. Recently got it. I am currently in the works of making a video to share my reviews about it. It's available at Amazon. Because I do notice that whenever I apply makeup, I just always end up getting more pimples. So this is perfect to prevent any and to kill any bacteria that I might have in my face right now. Since I am doing my makeup, uh, I'm gonna do it in the steps that I always do. I start with my brows and eye makeup. So I'm just gonna skip that part for you guys and I will talk to you once it's time to use the primer. Okay, I did my brows and eye makeup, so now it's time to do foundation. I am first gonna start with one half of my, of my face, just in case this product doesn't work. And it ruins my foundation, so I just have to take one half off. It's like a silicone. Can y'all see? Can you see? Focus. Yep, silicone-ish. I don't know how much to use. Oh, um, okay, good. So I just says dab. Dab, dab, dab. And then in the enlarged pore, so I do have some enlarged pores here. Okay. Then it says wait for 30 seconds and you can apply Seth Green moisturizer and makeup. I'm just afraid if I move up the round, the product is gonna mess it up. Foundation time. I'm taking the Rare Beauty. This is shade 210N. Uh, let's start with the forehead. Just there, baby. Then let's start blending. I'm starting my forehead just so I can let the primer act a little bit better. Hey okay, guys, now we're doing my face. What I was fearing for happened. It is splotchy. Look at that, no, 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 no. 
What did I do wrong? The primer completely separated. Oh, no, 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 let me see. Hmm. Okay, I removed all of that foundation. Let me truly follow the step. It's, it says, small amount into pitted scars. Okay, so maybe I did too much. Maybe this could be enough. Let me go to the other side. And use only this small amount. I'm gonna give it 30 seconds. I'm gonna just be safe. Sunscreen, moisturizer, and makeup. Okay, a minute has passed, so the next step would be sunscreen. I am taking this Innisfree Daily UV Defense Sunscreen. Shook it up. Maybe this is good. Good enough. And I will use moisturizer. This is the Banished Vitamin C Cream Lightweight Moisturizer. So, two pumps. Uh, let's put this here. I've never really been this deep into my base. Normally, I just do either moisturizer or just primer. Call it a day. But now, this calls for all three things. So, the steps have been followed through and through. I did the sunscreen, moisturizer, foundation. Hmm. Fingers crossed. I mean, it doesn't really tell you much more information as to how to blend the makeup. I don't know. Blended. Let's see how it looks. Let's zoom in. That worked. You see how red my skin is? Ew. Just really neutralizes my skin color. That worked. Okay. Follow the steps through and through, guys. Um, the primer did not budge. As you can see, it's on the skin. But is it covering my scars though? Hmm. Still see them, but we'll do the final flash test. Let me redo this side. It was sunscreen. Right, sunscreen and then moisturizer. Yes. Oh my god. I did not apply the primer. Ugh! Can I apply it now? I hope so. I mean, what's the matter about it? Sunscreen. Is it gonna mess it up? Dang it. Okay, let's just, let's not panic and see what happens if we put it on top of the sunscreen. Let's just act like normal. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Lord. Do I have to apply sunscreen again? No. We'll just apply moisturizer after. Let it stand for 30 seconds. Let's be right back. 30 seconds have passed. I hope this works. Let's do moisturizer now. I added too much last time, so just one pump. Okay, okay, okay. Let's blend it. blemishes on this side. It hasn't separated. Okay. Let me finish doing the rest of my makeup, my hair, and I will get back to you guys on the test to see if you can still see my acne scars. Mm -hmm. 
opinions so far. I still see them, but yeah, I gotta give it a final opinion. Stay tuned. What you're seeing now is the clip of after and my makeup is so oily. You can definitely still see my acne scars. I didn't know what to expect from this primer. I think I got my hopes up way too high. I should have known how can a primer really hide acne scars or maybe just my scars are pretty deep. I just have some light makeup right now and it looks it looks the same without the primer that I had before. I'll pass on this primer. I think it's just way too much work to add in into my makeup routine. Um, I would rather just skip this primer. It didn't really do much of a difference with my makeup. My skin just still looks oily. I would rather much use my Milk Makeup Matte Primer. If I really needed to use one, I tried to apply it in many different ways to see if it works. The application process is very tedious and just not worth it. Let me know what you think, guys. Have you tried this primer before? Let me know in the comments what did I do wrong so I can try this again and give it another shot. But so far, I gotta say I'll pass. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.